Uh, hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 29 of the July Lead Code Daily Challenge. Hit, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and let's get at it. Best time to buy and sell stock with cooldown. Say you have an array i Element is the price of the given stock in a given day. Design an algorithm to find the maximum profit. You can may complete as many transactions as you like. Uh, buy and one sell with the following restrictions. You may not constrain multiple transactions at the same time. Uh, after you sell your stock, you may not buy the stock the next day. Okay. So the way that I would probably think about it is just dynamic programming because that's just the way that um, the pattern goes. Uh, so how would I think about this, right? So basically at every action, so let's break down a few functions, uh, but let's start with buy with an index. Um, okay, and then also set n is equal to prices or length of prices. Uh, yeah, if index is equal to n, then it's returned zero because we're not doing anything. Um, otherwise, let's see. So now at this index, we have two options, right? We have we either buy or we don't buy. So if we buy, we... So what happens when we buy? That means that um, we pay the cost. So negative prices of index is the cost. And and then we sell it at a later date. Index uh, plus one and so forth. So you could sell it the same day, I suppose, but that's just weird. Um, so then that means that your cost function will be you want to ma maximize um selling at index plus one or buy at index plus one that means that so so yeah so this is the okay actually, actually let me break this down a little bit right so uh so there are two possible best way right so uh best uh best profit uh buying that means that we buy this and the cost of this buying is equal to uh, we're selling it in the future plus the cost, which is this thing. And it costs us price of index, right? Uh, plus profit not buying is just equal to buying of index plus one, right? And then we just take the better version of it. So we're just doing it with recursion right now. Uh, we, will, we will do the dynamic programming for, uh, or memorization part in a second. But this is how I would talk through the logic one step at a time. Okay. Let's let's go sell right. Sell okay. So sell means that you have uh, you have a stock already right, and and that's factored in the the cost. Um, so again, if index is equal to n, then we return zero. That means you have messed up and you didn't sell, so you kept it. Uh, otherwise, uh, the 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 selling price. I, I want to say it's cost, but I guess it's not really. It's the price. Eh. I just got prices. You go to prices of index because that's how much you get it if you sell it now, right? So best profit selling this. Uh, let's say we sold it, right? Then when can we buy again? Well, we can only buy at index. Um, you could maybe do it while you're doing function for cooldown, but I think it doesn't really matter. So when you sell, you have to buy at this. So you skip the next index. So it's buy at index plus two uh, plus the price. And then best profit not selling it's just you go to well may, let, let's consider selling it tomorrow instead which is index plus one uh, and then now we just take the max of these and th th there will be a we probably have to fix uh a little bit things but that's probably my general thing for now um and for example th this uh this index plus two means that this may go over n so let's uh change that to here and i think that we could probably start playing around with it and then let's just return buy sub zero um yeah just running it to see if it works it looks okay Let, let's play another another number um i don't know and just maybe one element um and of course this is not going to be fast enough uh for big ends because uh i don't know what n is actually but let's say you have now this is five right five elements so let's say we have a lot of these uh, this will probably time out yeah uh, but because of the formulation that we have now we can think about um, 
adding memorization to it, right? The key thing to note is that for this by function, uh, you ch this, you only take one input, which is the index, and index just goes from zero to n minus one. Uh, same for cell. So that means that uh, there at most, and each of these do all of one constant work. So this that means that this is going to be linear space. Uh, so then we let's just by by cash is equal to uh, which doesn't really matter times n and and uh, by cash exist maybe uh, is equal to force times n uh, and then we do the same thing for cell and then now we just have to put it in which is if the index uh, or if by cash exists index is equal to true then we return the by cash of index otherwise at the very end we set uh, we set the by cache index is equal to this thing um, and then we return it and we also set the uh, exist to true uh, we do the same thing for the cell portion So yeah, sometimes I do have typos, so uh, I'm not confident per se, but conceptually, at least algorithm-wise, it should be okay. Uh, oh, did I not even... Uh, so yeah, so it went pretty quickly relatively, so let's submit it and give it a go. Cool. Yeah, so what is the running time? Again, um, for this function by, we only call it at most and or the only n unique uh, or n plus one unique variables, I guess, uh, that could be possible. And each one costs all of one time. So it's going to be all of n total uh, for all the buys and same thing for all the cell. So it's going to be linear time and linear space. Uh, cool. Uh, and you could actually, um, you know, convert this to bottoms up now that you're familiar with this and also um, use dynamic pro uh, so, uh You could optimize the space so that uh, it will be much more efficient. But yeah, uh, noting that it only takes the index plus one and index plus two here in this case. But yeah, that's all I have for this problem. Let me know what you think. Hit, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you out tomorrow. Bye-bye.